Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another cook with me. Usually I do like first time cooking, like whatever, whatever. But this time, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make my favorite vegan like recipe dinner. The best way to describe this, it's kind of like a uh, broccoli and beef Chinese, except it's no beef and it's just like broccoli and different vegetables made into like a Chinese dish. So I'm gonna be showing you guys that recipe. This is like my favorite, favorite. Um, I keep looking down because I have the broccoli down here because I already pre-cut it, but I wanna say I make this probably like once a week. To me, it's just really, really good. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to start by showing you guys all the ingredients that you need to make the sauce for this meal. So the stuff that you're going to be needing for the sauce is rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, coconut sugar, soy sauce. It doesn't matter which one. We had this soy sauce the first couple times that we made this dish, but we ran out. So we ended up getting this soy sauce. The sauce was a little bit lighter. It just looked like a little different, but it was still good. So I'm going to use the rest of this, and if I need, I can use this one. The vegetables you're going to be needing, you're going to need bell pepper, red onion, um, I use baby portobello mushrooms, and then I usually use fresh garlic, but Walmart sold out, so I just have the minced garlic already cut. And then over here, I already cut up my broccoli. I usually like to start with the sauce, so I'm just gonna move this stuff over, and then we're gonna make the sauce, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly like what you need. Oh, we also need cornstarch. I was using this as a little tripod, so you need cornstarch too. You need one fourth cup coconut sugar, so I'm gonna and then you need one fourth cup of soy sauce. And then you need one fourth cup of room temperature water. The next thing you need is cornstarch. You need one tablespoon and a half. The next thing you're going to use is rice vinegar. You're going to need to put a tablespoon and a half of rice vinegar. This is the one I use for the sushi and it really, really smells like really strong like vinegar. Well, obviously because it's vinegar. And then the last thing you put is one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. That's all you need for your sauce. It just ends up looking like this. Well, it's not done yet. Your cornstarch kind of gets like stuck. So you just have to mix it. I already mixed the sauce all together. And I'm just going to put this to the side. This goes in last. So I like to have this done so that way the vegetables and stuff don't burn. I'm going to cut my bell peppers. I really like this recipe because it's like you can add however much you want of anything. So like if you like a lot of onions, then you can put a lot of onions or... If you like a lot of bell peppers, you can put a lot. And then you can also like just double everything. So like if you're going to make a lot of, um, if you're going to make a lot of vegetables, then all you have to do is like double the sauce. This is really one of my favorite, favorite recipes to make because it's very simple. It is a lot of cutting, but at the end it tastes really good. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you guys, usually what I do before I start like making the sauce and stuff, I'll make my white rice. We have leftover rice from a meal we made during the week. I want to know if any of you guys have been like learning how to cook or have you guys learned any new recipes or did you guys already know how to cook before like everybody got stuck at home? I was telling my mom that it would be super cool if we would get like those like mobile islands so that way i can be back here with that little island i can put like the camera on the cabinet or on the counter not cabinet on the counter and then like you guys can see me like talking and cutting at the same time because it's either like me talking to you guys or it's me just showing you guys my chopping so the other way it would be like you guys could see me and chopping so that would be pretty cool i didn't know if i was gonna bring it up but i monetize like i'm officially monetized on youtube which is really cool um I just think it's super, super cool, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching my videos and getting me to this point. I mean, it's nothing, it's just monetization, like, but it's a big step because, like, starting from zero subscribers to now, it's like, wow, like, what? Like, this is crazy, but I just wanted to say thank you. I just thought it was really cool, and I wanted to, like, share that with you guys because this is, like, what we have or, like, what we've built. So, back to the cooking. I already cut up my onion and my bell pepper. All I need to do is... I don't know if that's mold. Is that mold? I think I'm just going to have to cut that off. I'm just going to wash my mushrooms and then cut them. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys are the same way. Like, I can't look inside the mushrooms. Like, when I'm cutting them, they have to be face down. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if it's going to show. But, like, inside, there's just, like, different lines of the mushrooms. But I just can't look at it when I'm cutting them. I'm like, look, I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there. Oh, just looking at it gives me chills. I'm gonna hate myself for doing that when I'm editing this video. Okay, 
everything's already cut up. I have my mushrooms, bell pepper, and my onion. And then over here, I have my broccoli. And then my garlic, which I just have to scoop that in with a spoon. I'm going to spray my pan. Once the pan's a little heated, I'm just going to put some grapeseed oil. That should be good. Oh, so I didn't even tell you guys. So you guys are going to put your onion and your garlic together at the same time. And you're going to saute those for three minutes exactly. The onions and garlic are ready now. It should look something like this. And I also forgot to tell you guys, it's on medium heat. The next thing you put is your broccoli. I'm going to try it with one hand. I think I might fail. Okay. Oh, I did it. Okay, so you put your broccoli, and then with your broccoli, you want to put one-fourth cup of water. Let me pour that over. So you put one-fourth cup of water, and if you think you need a little bit of more water, you can see it at the bottom of the pan. Then you can put a little bit. But what you're going to do is you're just going to mix your stuff, and then you put the cover over. And then you're going to wait for your broccoli to be halfway cooked. Okay, guys, so it's been maybe like eight minutes, and... They're cutting easily, so I'm going to throw in the bell peppers. I just put the bell peppers right there, and then you just mix it in. And, and then this takes maybe like five minutes. So the bell peppers are ready. They're just like cutting like softer. Not really, that didn't look soft, but it just cut easily. So now I'm going to put the mushroom and the sauce. I'm gonna mix the sauce a little bit and then we just pour it over the mushroom or like everything and then you just mix it. So the food is ready. Look at how good this looks. It just looks so like juicy and so good and all the colors just look really good i'm gonna serve myself and then i'll see you guys at the table i have my plate right here and then the kona rice is on the bottom i don't know if you guys can see it this looks so so good this is my first time trying it with this type of rice i have a little bit of everything i have my broccoli mushroom rice and then the bottom has a uh, bell pepper guys i love this meal so much like it's just so delicious and like the flavors i can't even tell that it's this type of rice like i said we usually have it with white rice but we had leftover of this rice so i was like i'm just gonna eat that instead of making like more rice my camera died and i finished my food so i'm done with my food but that was just like super super good i hope some of you guys try this like recipe it's really really good and it just like it's so satisfying like the flavors all taste really good like everything's super super good I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that way you guys don't miss the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.